Hello, I'm Alex, and this is the English Ear, where we look at what people say and why they say it. And this week we are looking into all manner of roads and streets and things that come in between. You know what the difference is between a boulevard or a highway, or a road and a street for that matter. Well, this video is going to clear it up completely for you, or it may make you a little more confused. You will either understand the differences perfectly, or realize how much you don't know. Either way, I will have done my job. Let's get started. A road is a general term for all these other terms. It is simply a way that a vehicle uses to travel between two points. The root of the word is actually associated to the word ride, like to ride a horse. There are so many expressions using the word road. Here are just a few. To take the high road means to take the morally superior position in an argument. On the road to recovery means that things are getting better. This could be used for one's health or for the economy, for instance. A bump in the road is a small problem that slows your forward progress, but is usually only temporary. Road rage is that uncontrollable anger that you get, not, not me of course, when someone cuts you off in traffic or does some dangerous maneuver. A road that is lined with houses or stores or offices is a street, so you only find streets in villages, towns and cities. We often say that a person has street smarts instead of academic intelligence. In other words, they have uh, obtained their wisdom from experience and living life. If something is up your street, it is something that you like or you enjoy, like saying it's not my cup of tea or it is my cup of tea in this case. When we talk about the man on the street, we are referring to a generic ordinary person, not someone with privileges. We might say that the man on the street cares more about the price of bread than politics. The word high in highway doesn't mean that you are driving while on drugs or waving at the person in the next car. It's simply an old term that means the main or the principal. In the UK, we find it on the word high street in a town and highway, which is usually a main road from one town to the next. In the 18th and 19th century, it was common for thieves called highwaymen to stop travelers on the road and rob them. So highway robbery is a term we use nowadays when we are being charged an exorbitant price for something. Parkways are two or more laned roads that pass through or beside parks or that head towards one. Trucks and heavy vehicles are usually prohibited from using them, as they are supposed to be more scenic routes. An avenue that comes from the Latin advenire, meaning to approach, is often a wide road lined with trees. Examples of avenues are Fifth Avenue in New York, the Mall in London, or the Champs-Élysées in Paris. We can use the expression to explore all avenues when we want to examine all possible means to find a solution to something. Sorry, no, Miss Gillespie, we haven't found the person who took Fluffy, your pet hamster, but we are exploring all avenues. A boulevard is very similar to an avenue. Back in 17th century Paris, the tops of the fortified walls that surrounded the city in English, these are known as bulwarks, were pleasant places to go for a walk, as they were not really being used for defence anymore. But these were soon razed to the ground and replaced by wide streets. 
Roads which can fit just one vehicle are often called lanes. We use this same term for divisions on wide roads, uh, on athletic tracks or swimming pools, to show that that strip is for just one vehicle or person. An underpass is a way that pedestrians or vehicles can pass under a busy road. In the UK, this is often called a subway, which really confuses American visitors looking for the underground. I hope that I've cleared up all your doubts. I only managed to include a fraction of the possible expressions that include these words, so there's a great deal more to explore. Hope you learned something and had some fun at the same time. If you want to get more content like this, then please hit the subscribe button. And if you would give us a like, that would help us tremendously. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.